linear stage theories so this is the first kind of theories that we are going to learn and these are called as linear stage theories beta what are linear stage theories as i told you these kind of theories are those theories in which we assume that in order to go from developing to becoming a developed nation you need to go through various stages of development aapko alag 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 stages se nikalna padega these are called as linear stage theories after world war 2 low income countries had started growing there was no way to measure the growth of agrarian economies that lacked modern economic structure तो अब क्या हुआ वर्ल्ड वॉर टू के बाद धीरे धीरे जो डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज थी जो लो इनकम कंट्रीज थी वो भी ग्रो करना शुरू हो गई बट ये नहीं समझ में आ रहा था कि दीज इकोनॉमीज विच आर ग्रोइंग दीज लो इनकम इकोनॉमीज विच आर ग्रोइंग हाउ टू मेजर देयर ग्रोथ हाउ डू वी मेजर वॉट यू नो हाउ डू वी मेजर देयर अचीवमेंट्स हाउ डू वी अंडरस्टैंड द अमाउंट ऑफ ग्रोथ दैट दे हैव डन राइट the historical experience of the modern industrial nation that were once underdeveloped had important lessons for the backward asian countries ye zarur pata tha ki those countries which are now developed they were once underdeveloped so the countries which were developing could have learned from the experience of the developed nation जो कंट्री डेवलप हो चुकी थी वो भी कभी अंडर डेवलप थी तो उनके एक्सपीरियंस से सीखकर ये कंट्रीज भी धीरे धीरे डेवलप हो सकती थी यू दे कुड हैव यूज्ड द हिस्टोरिकल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ दिस मॉडर्नाइज्ड इंडस्ट्रियल नेशंस बिकॉज दे वर आल्सो वंस अंडर डेवलप द मैसिव इंजेक्शन ऑफ कैपिटल एंड हिस्टोरिकल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ नाउ डेवलप कंट्री कुड नॉट बी रिफ्यूटेड By scholar, politician and administrators of the rich countries. तो ये देखा गया कि those countries which became developed, they had massive amount of injection of capital. उनको बहुत ज्यादा capital requirement लगी थी There was a massive amount of capital accumulation that had taken place. तो एक बात जो हम ignore नहीं कर सकते थे that was the role of savings and the role of capital. we understood that saving and capital was very important for the purpose of growth similarly those countries which had grown unka jo historical experience tha wo bhi bahut important tha for the purpose of growth this approach due to emphasis on central role of accelerated physical capital accumulation also came to be known as capital fundamentalism तो क्योंकि ये जो भी हम लीनियर ग्रोथ मॉडल्स पढ़ेंगे वट एवर लीनियर ग्रोथ मॉडल्स वी विल स्टडी दे फोकस्ड अ लॉट ऑन द रोल ऑफ कैपिटल एक्यूमलेशन राइट दैट इज वाई देवर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कैपिटल फंडामेंटलिज्म ठीक है बेटा अच्छा वॉट आर द लीनियर ग्रोथ मॉडल्स वी विल बी स्टडिंग बेटा नंबर वन रोस्टोज स्टेजेस ऑफ ग्रोथ number 2 the harrod domer model theek hai beta these are the two models which came to be known as the first one which came to be known as the linear growth models am i clear beta these two models were called as the linear growth models okay beta thank you